Look at this pile. We still got more to go. Welcome everybody. You had finally made it to part three and whew, there is a lot to go through. But definitely be sure to go ahead and like this video, subscribe down below if you have not already, hit that little notification bell, that way you can be notified anytime any of these videos pop up in your notifications and say, hey, there's another new Hot Wheels Dad video. So be sure to go ahead and do that and leave comments down below. I love hearing what you guys have to say, whether it be liking the video on the things, different things that I did, or the races, unboxings, anything like that. I would love to go ahead and hear your comments. Now, I do upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, so definitely be sure if you live in a different time zone to try to figure out what time that is for you. But I'm so glad you finally made it to the final part of the holiday haul. So without further ado, let's get on into the video. Glad to see everybody made it to the third and final part of the holiday haul. So... Without further ado, let's go ahead and start right on into it. So, the first car of this video is going to be Geoterra. Geoterra is supposed to be a very quick model. So, let's see if the version that I got is just as quick as I've seen others. Next up. Next up is the Blade Raider. Blade Raider does look like a quick model, however, in several videos that I've watched, uh, it does not perform the best, so let's hope that my version runs a little bit quicker than the other ones that I have seen, but it is a super cool model. It does also remind me of the, R the Toy Story RC car uh, in its looks. That is Blade Raider. All right, next up, we have the Night Dragon. It is a cool-looking dragon on the vehicle. Uh, definitely an uh, Eastern-style type dragon. Uh, nice little motor, a little uh, turbo thing on both sides. Nice little fin slash tail on the end. So that is Night Dragon. Next up, we have the cool red chromed out version of the uh, Turto shell. Instead of saying Turbo shell, uh, Turto, because it is a cute little turtle guy. These models are supposed to be fast, kind of like duck and roll. So, can't wait to get this little guy on the track. Next up, we have Swamp Buggy. Swamp Buggy is part of the Thrill Racers Swamp Rally 12. Swamp Buggy definitely looks pretty cool. Uh, I've seen it's not the quickest model, so we always definitely hope that we get the quicker model or version of this. So... We'll see when it comes to racing in a later video of this guy going down the track. All right, next up we have the RD04 Thrill Racers Ice. Look at that RD04. Nice and chromed out. Kind of looks like some little uh, forms of ice on it. That is cool. Nice dark blues got some uh, blue real dark blue on the wheels i know it's hard to see on camera of that that blue it almost looks black on the camera but wow look at that guy so that is rd04 next up we have air eruption air eruption 
Uh, it's kind of like an airplane uh, kind of model. Uh, cool looking little wheels. And on the back, the little special feature shows that its wings do pop out. Although probably not the best idea when you're racing down the track. But it is a neat little special feature of the car. Alright, next up we have one of my favorite models that is uh, from the newer type Hot Wheels is Mad Splash. I love the, the clear plastic design on the bottom. Definitely cool little boat type car. Uh, I definitely hope that it is quick and it looks pretty quick. But the, the, uh, the clear type water on it, I think, is super cool. But that is Mad Splash. Alright, next up, we have the super cool uh, uh, shark painting of 2Jet Z. This model seems almost like it's a World War II tank styled vehicle, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, it looks like an all-metal casting. Uh, it also kind of reminds me of the original red-colored Lakester a little bit. So I wonder if Lakester uh, was some of the inspiration behind 2Jet Z. Alright, next up we have the track stars for the Honda Racer. Look at the Honda Racer. That is sweet. Looks like a two-person driving, which would be a weird, not exactly sure who's steering what. Um, but yeah, that is the Honda Racer. Nice little uh, exhaust on the back. Pretty cool looking model. Alright, next up we have the cool lime green and uh, electric looking... Uh, Design on the blue for the Shark Cruiser. I love the color of this one. It definitely kind of reminds me of kind of like the 80s uh, kind of color. But it is a crackle in the Crackle Car series. But look at that. So that is Shark Cruiser. Next up, before you've seen the tuned Diora, this is the Diora 3. Has a little bike on it and the surfboard on the other side. Now these Diora 3s are definitely supposed to be fast models. Um, so this should perform pretty well in the races in the future on the channel. Uh, oh, and look at that RV there yet. We will definitely be doing RV there yet, and let's go ahead and just do it next. Heck, why wait? Let's just let's just throw RV there yet as the next vehicle. So RV there yet. Super neat little mini model with a little uh, camper uh, on the back of the car. Uh, part of the HW getaways. Now, these are not actual wheels. They are just uh, decaled wheels. And I actually don't know why they wouldn't make a third wheel right there. Um, because this part may actually slow it down on the track some. Um, it is a uh, pretty good weighted model. Um, but, yeah, I just don't know why they did not make those actual wheels. I thought that was quite interesting because there are many different Hot Wheels that have six wheels. Uh, next up we have the 70 Volkswagen Baja Bug. Look how cute that thing is. Definitely looks like a cartoon smushed up vehicle. Big old exhaust pipe coming out the center of the back. A little number 70 on it. This little guy looks like he is ready to race. There's a 70s Volkswagen Baja Bug. 
Next up, if you don't believe, you should now because this is I Believe. Nice, good blue and orange. They definitely, the colors just pop on this thing. I'm not sure um, if it's supposed to be some kind of like creature or if there's like some kind of like pun in the name. Uh, but it is pretty cool looking. That's heavy uh, for a model. Definitely has a lot going on in it. That is, I believe, and it's part of Street Beast. So, um, I believe might be some kind of like jellyfish or ray or something. I don't know. Uh, go ahead and leave, leave me a comment in the comments below. And uh, tell me if you know what uh, like creature or beast this is actually supposed to be. Next up, we have the cool Erkenstein. Look at that. It definitely looks similar, almost in a, a reverse kind of way of the a Diesel Boy. Not Diesel Boy. Um, lethal Diesel. Uh, they do look pretty similar. But look at that blue. Sky blue is my favorite color. So to get this one in the sky blue color was pretty awesome. And it does have that silver uh, silver walled or lined wheels, which is pretty cool. Next up, cute little tuned car is the Manga Tuner. Or manga tuner, however you pronounce that. Um, definitely any bit little vehicle with big old long exhaust pipes coming out the back. Uh, this is definitely going to be in a the special race with the tuned and short vehicle cars. So definitely stay tuned to the channel when that video is released. And we have Hyperfin. This is the Fast and Furious Spy Racers Hyperfin. Now, Hyperfin does remind me of uh, two vehicles kind of put together. Or, no, there's um, one of the vehicles I have that's like Hyperfin and another vehicle put together combined for another vehicle. So I'll kind of point that out in the future. But this is Hyperfin. Cool big exposed wheels in the back next up we have perfect speed part of the street beast it is a cat ready to pounce on its prey down the track big old green wheels they definitely uh, stand out from the blue that is perfect speed Next up, we have part of the HW Glow Wheels with a What's Up. Nice little electric little thing on the front of the vehicle. Nice slender looking design. That is What's Up. Next up, we have X-Steam. X-Steam reminds me of Crazy 8's a little bit. But look at that big old long engine on the front and has the uh, movable piece on the front to help with loops nice looking model let's see uh, and, th and this is the uh, part of the super chrome series but yeah let's see how good this guy goes down the track Next up, cute little tuned model is the Tarmac Attack. Definitely looks like a tuned uh, Formula or Indy car. Look at that thing. Big old wheels in the back. And a little, littler wheels on the front. Look how neat that is. So this will definitely be in the tuned vehicle. Little short guys and stuff like that on the race. But yeah. Tarmac Attack. Sorry about the uh, big old sticker on it. I'm going to do the unboxing. We'll get a better look at Tarmac Attack and all these other vehicles. Alright, this 
is semi-fast. Looks a little similar to the hologram. Uh, this actually weighs quite a bit more than the hologram. Uh, neat looking semi. Uh, it almost kind of is like the old school uh, X Racers, at least on the red. Yeah, that is semi fast. I would love to eventually own semi fast too, because that one looks awesome. All right, next up we have Turbo Flame. Turbo Flame is cool. It is kind of like an eggshell white with some chrome on it. Big old Hot Wheels logo right on there. Definitely has some cool flame that spits out the back. Look at that. So that is Turbo Flame. Next up, we have Speed Driver. Speed Driver is definitely supposed to be really fast. So... I definitely am glad that they have uh, a number of different uh, fantasy models um, that uh, that are supposed to be pretty quick because I do enjoy the fantasy models. And look at how many special features this has. You can put actual bits into the vehicle and you can use it to tighten little bolts. And put a little screwdriver in this thing. That is awesome. Three different little tool features. So you put your bit in there. You can use that little wrench. You can, uh, as the picture shows, you can actually put like a, like a, one of your little bits in there. Look at that. So that is speed driver. Next up, we have the cool six wheel version, and this one was uh, sponsored by the Green Laner from DC Comics um, with the, um, oh, that one guy, Ryan Reynolds. I can't believe I almost forgot his name, but cool six wheels, and this is excessive, so kind of a letter play on excessive. Um, Pretty, pretty heavy model, big old long motor, exhaust, blower, air cooling system, whatever you want to call it, um, and uh, almost looks like a roll cage or some kind of protective little part on the front, but as excessive. Next up, cute little model. Um, I've seen that this doesn't roll real quick, probably because of the. Uh, the big uh, wheel on the back that's supposed to be a die that you're supposed to be able to see from the top, kind of like you roll it. But see me rolling, part of the Xperia Motors. Uh, definitely an interesting casting. I mean, even if this thing doesn't go really quick, um, I'm pretty excited to see it go. So if you look in here, when you roll the wheel, you can end up rolling to see what number it lands on. Next up, we have Retroactive with a big old like jet engine on the back. Nice slender model. A uh, pretty good weight to it for a slimmer model. And it says best for track, and it's a track star, probably. I think all track stars have the uh, yellow wheels, but that is retroactive. Next up, uh, and this is really damaged packaging, but that's okay. But this is the Robo Race Robo Car. So, kind of a mouthful with a lot of Robo in there. Uh, love the color scheme and design on this thing. Uh, definitely a low riding thing. It reminds me of the Formula E Gen 2 car. Uh, but that is that is nice and slick. Looks like it's going to be quick, but only time will tell when we race this car in the future. Next up, Fusion Busta. 
Fusion Buster. Um, looks like there's quite a bit of metal in this casting. It has some uh, some kind of Asian, either that's uh, in, written in Mandarin or Japanese. Uh, but Fusion Buster. Fusion Buster is supposed to be a pretty decent model on the track for the HW Flame series. Next up, we got another boat. So not just uh, Mad Splash being a boat, but look at this dude. It's HW Rescue Series Sky Boat. And it does have a little special feature on the little front part. It does flip back. So if you look on its special feature, that uh, black part of the front does flip over to the back. So when I race this, I actually would love to see which is faster. If it's uh, that special feature is put to the back or left in the front. All right, next up, and we're almost done. We are almost there. This is the Vampira. Uh, I love the colors on this one. Um, they definitely have a lot more decal and a lot more that pops in this model and now they also do have a uh, color shifter version with the nickel plated axles that is more than likely going to be faster than this one but this one is pretty cool a uh, lot of weight this has a lot of weight for um for a newer type casting and let's see what year so 2015 so it came out in 2016 um, but yeah, that's, wow, well, I'm surprised at how much weight this thing has. All right, next up, we have Fast Gas, and now this does not have the chrome look to the gas tank in the back, but this does have six wheels, which is pretty cool. Uh, I do plan on, um, making a video of all the, uh, six-wheeled vehicles, to kind of see which of the six wheel vehicles does go the fastest. But this is fast gassing. Next up we have Backdrafter. Backdrafter is a heavy model with a really big um like ridge tires on the uh on the back. With normal size ridge tires on the front. Definitely has a cool angle to it. It's like a um, souped up version of a fire truck. So that is pretty sweet looking. Alright, just a few more to go. So we are almost there. We got Hot Tub. Hot Tub is supposed to... well. The one with the faster than ever wheels is supposed to be one of the fastest hot wheels there is. Uh, so I did pick up the, um, like St. Patrick's uh, Day uh, holiday racer version of it. So I'm interested to see how, how fast this is on just, for the most part, the regular version. It almost seems like a pot of gold in the center. Uh, with how it's colored, but I'm re really interested to see the regular version on how quick it is. All right, next up we have Slide Kick for the X Racer series. Uh, Slide Kick does have, uh, if you pull the uh, fin in the back, have a little uh, guy or person pop out of the back. So, focus. Come on. There we go. So the little seat does pop out when you pull the back out. So I'll definitely show that when I do the unboxing. So you can get a better idea and look of the special feature of Slide Kick. Next one is Roger Dodger 2.0. So Roger that. Uh, I do like the fact that uh, the, the casting on this one does kind of remind me of like... Uh, uh, it's either I think it's a uh, exotic that does something similar. This one has the like double engine on the front. This one definitely looks more of a fantasy model 
uh, than the, the original Roger Dodger. Uh, so I do really like that about this one. Next up, time for the dinosaurs. It is T-Rex Destroyer, Part of the Dino Rider series. This is the all green version. So that is pretty cool. I definitely like the green look to it. So T-Rex Destroyer. And the last two cars. And I paired these up together on purpose. We have the original twin mill. Well, it's not the original, but we have a blue twin mill. And to go with it, the tuned twin mill. That way you can see the difference between the tuned and the untuned. But look at that. I really like the tuned version. <laughs> it just totally reminds me of the old cartoons uh, back when I was growing up. But, yeah, Twin Mill and the HW Dream Garage, which is... Uh, the Hot Wheels Dream Garage is actually all the uh, all the Hot Wheels that turned into real vehicles. Uh, but, yeah, that is the blue Twin Mill and its counterpart, the tuned version of Twin Mill. But honestly, this almost looks like the tuned version of Twin Mill 2 when it actually had more of a, a bubble top for the passenger on it. Um, they just said Twin Mill, but I like it either way, though. It is definitely pretty cool. So that finally is all of the things that I got for my holiday haul. Thank you guys so much for sticking with all the way to the end of the video. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be sure to definitely uh, check with what time zone you are in correlation with Eastern Standard Time. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe, comment, share, like, all that fun stuff that you could do to help me and my channel i would greatly appreciate it and if you like this video be sure to check out whatever side the video is going to be on i uh, will be sure to go ahead and check out that other video on this channel and thank you so much can't wait to see you again